Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and right here my husband has just cut in in the basement, and once he was done painting, it pretty much looked like the same color, even though it was different. Now it is a bluish gray color. My daughter requested beef stroganoff. Um, we normally don't mix the sour cream in, we will put it on top. So, last little ingredient, making her egg noodles, and then also have a pork roast in there because it could not get corned beef. They were sold out. And then I've got cabbage. So it's gonna be pork and cabbage and then beef stroganoff and egg noodles. St. Patrick's Day was two days ago. Again, you know I'm not feeling good if I'm not taking down that holiday decoration like the next day. I don't know, it's just what I do. So we're two days <coughs> past. So I've got this out still because it's got strawberries. That'll probably stay up there until the end of summer. And then I've just pulled the things down here. I have a few little kind of cutesy, I think mid-century little chicks and bunnies. Not a lot, but I'm going to put them out here on the shelves. So I'll share a few of the decorations. I have this little bunny and I added this pink metallic top hat to him. I have this umbrella and I got that at the same estate sale that I picked up a lot of my St. Patrick's Day decor. Uh, it was a very Irish family and the estate sale was on St. Patrick's Day. Just very easy to remember. And they just had some great mid-century things and I really haven't been to an estate sale like that in a very long time. Finding little decorations and treasures from dime stores. Here I have this book. It is the Bunny's Nutshell Library. I got that for a dollar at a community sale. Another one of the umbrellas. And then this little chenille chick with the parasol and the hat. That was another estate sale and it was a man who did the window displays for a local department store. So he had amazing items. A little chick. And then these three bunnies. I found these two as I was walking out of Goodwill. I already paid for whatever I was buying and then I saw these on a glass shelf and I had to pick them up. They were four dollars a piece. Savers, I'd say within the same year, I found this one in a bag and it was the missing one. I also have another set. I saw it listed um, in an ad online at a flea or a yard sale and I got to the yard sale right as it was starting and uh, they weren't out yet. The man was just pulling boxes out and starting to set up and I, you know, asked him about the bunnies and he said, well, you know, just pull stuff out of the box and put it on the table. And when you find the bunnies, they're yours. And so that's what I did. And I think I paid $10 for that set. So probably what I paid for this set together. A little ceramic lamb. And then I had these little ephemera holders that I made out of doorknobs that when I added a bunny to. So I just need to get some cards or paper or pictures and put them in there. And then I left my little stand out because I like that green color and the same with the strawberries. Um, our bunnies always loved eating strawberries. So I like to share what I put here. This one's not a ton, but I'll fill it in with some pictures. I store these decorations in a little chocolate box and I have these bunny seals one of this design and then the rest that just look like the top and they are denison easter seals they have the uh, 10 cent price tag and these i think seals are always older when they're more matte and not shiny and these are definitely that matte style for dinner i made some scallops and then the rest was a bag of seafood i think from trader joe's and then I also made some riced cauliflower and I mixed a little bit of um, cheese into that. It was like a four cheese blend. And then the kids wanted macaroni, so that's what they had. I had a request a little bit ago to share my moss that I had made, so I'm sharing them again. Um, here is one. I've embellished the top uh, with some lace and some thread some little rhinestones and buttons. The antennas are corsage pins. The body was made out of a fabric tape measure. Underneath is some glitter, watercolor, silver thread, sheet music. The legs were just gold 
um, paper clips because that's what I had. And it was a little bit of a thicker wire than the other gold wire that I have. And then I just left some of the threads hanging off. And then this one has lace over top of silk on top of sheet music. Again, those paper clips for the legs. And the body was either a nail file, a letter opener, a button hook, something like that. Probably a nail file. Um, and that part had become rusty, so I believe that's why I took it off. So I just had this sterling top with some engraving. And I thought it would be perfect for the body. And then this part here, it's a little pearl little uh, rhinestone piece. Can't even remember what that was. I don't know if it was a pin or just a jewelry piece. Button type thing. So here's one. Here's the other. I had one um, and I sold it at Pam's sale. I think my friend Abby got it. Or maybe it was a giveaway. I can't remember. Um, that one had like a chandelier crystal as the body and then some paper for the wings, a little jewelry piece, I believe at the top. And then I've also done things with um, I don't know, like maybe dress clips or shoe clips and then adding some wire for the legs. There's a lot of jewelry pieces out there that I think look like bugs, butterflies, moths that you can um, just add one little touch to and then all of a sudden you've got something that looks like an insect. Those pieces are in my Halloween decorations, so I won't have those out for a while, but these I always have somewhere in this room. We are back at the salvage warehouse. We were here in the summer to find things for the bathroom, and now we're back to get a desk. But I had to film a little bit because this is such an incredible place and they have such amazing things. That was a big roll of department store wrapping paper. And in the desk we picked up, they had smaller rolls and it's just such an overwhelming place. I totally forgot if I could get a roll. Here I am filming this awesome uh, table. It is very much like the one that I picked up, except I paid $100 for a larger one, and this is $700 for a smaller one. So definitely got a deal, but I love that one at the warehouse. So here is the base for the desk. It's very industrial. That's exactly what we wanted. It's got nice adjustable shelves. We'll clean it up and put it inside and then later polish up the brass a bit. Um, it's got a lot of storage for books and office supplies, and we are quite pleased with it. And then the top looks like an old workbench from a factory from uh, middle school or high school. It's got some gouges in it, but that's fine. It's what we were looking for. If we wanted something flatter, we could just flip it over and wax it. And then I got these while I was there. They had nine of them. Uh, we got them for $95, so a little over $10 a piece, which I thought was a really good deal for these. Uh, they've got awesome pulls, so my husband can use some on the desk, and then I'll take some to organize ephemera. I think it'll be perfect if I have a few projects going on at once, is I can keep them separated. And I just love the color, love everything about them. Furnace just kicked on, so it might be a little loud in the background but um, my husband has made just nice steady progress every weekend so he'll put the shelves back up and then this is where the desk is going to go he also painted the ceiling um, on the mudroom side and also here in the stairwell and the ceiling was the same color as the wall so you can see it's a lot lighter now we don't have a light here in the stairwell so that should brighten some things and that'll be a really nice fresh change so he's got walls to do in here. Um, he's just decided he's the painter for this project. And then uh, when everything's said and done, we're gonna get new carpet for the steps. The ceiling is painted and same as on the other side, the ceiling was the same color as the wall. Um, so we have picked something dark like this, but in the blue family, blue gray. So that'll go there and then he'll obviously continue this, but that'll be probably a few weekends from now. And I do believe he actually wants to put a little door to go into the stairs there. So this side is gonna take longer with the tiling, the cutting, the grouting, the cement, 
the rest of the paint, um, something here. And I had bought two coat racks or yeah, call them coat racks at Target. One and then two. And then of course they, you know, didn't sell them anymore. And I wish I had a third. So it was a whole long amount. Um, so I said, let's just cover them up and I'll find something so we can just have a lot of coat storage. We get all the seasons here at once. So you need so many different outerwear pieces. Um, I mean, he could even do a piece of wood and then we could just do our own little hooks on it. So then maybe we don't have to patch where that stuff is. So that could be a suggestion. Yeah, so that is where the, the progress is. Just nice, steady progress. Very nice fit and a nice little space there. So it's not right up against that grate. I have a few updates about some things from my haul video. So the first is this tree is an older tree. Someone commented that they had bought some a while ago and I looked around on the internet and on Etsy, um, there were several ranging from $79 to $175. And uh, they were just like this. And I guess the giveaway for me was the wood base. And uh, a few of them were just like this, and then a few actually still had the garland on it. So that was neat to figure that out. I was also told that this pin with the heart and the crown on top is a Scottish Luckenbooth pin, very similar to an Irish clada symbol. And also some people said about the pig to put it out for St. Patrick's Day. I mean, other times of the year as well, uh, but St. Patrick's Day for prosperity and wealth. And I think that kind of goes along with the uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So thank you to everyone for all those ideas and suggestions and information. I got home from work and I just had to film the front yard. The sun was shining, there was a little breeze, and there was so much color. So many daffodils, um, I've collected them and planted them over the years, found them for free in the neighborhood when people were digging them up, and this is exactly what I was hoping would happen, that they would just just take over. Um, and this one, this is awesome. Probably a mutation when it was growing, but I just love that it was so full. We've got muscari coming up, and then I see the peonies popping up, um, the roses starting to bud, and then all down the driveway, tons of daffodils. And I just love, after this, I know the tulips are coming. Actually, there was one red tulip open. And then the peonies and the irises. Right now, I am working on a bit of a furniture shuffle. Uh, we will have people who are staying here, and I need to move the sheet music cabinet. I was hoping that I could use it in the basement for art storage. I'm not sure if the color of the cabinet will work, um, but for now, this is what I've thought of. This is going to go by the front door to hold some shoes. And I know this seems like a lot, but I don't mind it. Um, so our furniture is Ikea in here. Everything matches. <laughs> it's kind of funny how you have hand-me-down furniture where nothing matches. Then you get some money, a little bit of money from working, and you're like, oh, I'm going to go match everything. And then once it matches, you say, oh, I wish I had stuff that didn't match anymore. <laughs> so I have taken away the matching Ikea bedside table that my husband's is on the other side, and it matches. And I put this piece in here. And I like it. <laughs> the funny thing is, this is big for the space. It's sandwiched in between the bed and this dresser. But it still looks good in here. And my daughter saw it and said, oh, I love it in there. So it, it's kind of funny. I mean, it'd be nice if I could get rid of the other stuff around it. But I can't. Um, but for now, I'm going to enjoy this little piece. I really like the change. I like the cabinet in the bedroom and I really like this one here. It's a room full of blues and greens, so the color works perfectly. My daughter said it looks just like Easter and spring right there in the corner. So the beauty about a switch like this is uh, I vacuumed and dusted and found some things to get rid of. So it is like spring cleaning and the weather is amazing. I have windows open. I am ready for some spring break to be able to continue this.
Um, so the bedroom is taken care of. Here is taken care of. Uh, since a lot of the basement is finished, I took some artwork back down there and some furniture pieces. So that's nice. Um, so now I have to go into the guest bedroom because I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the art supplies that were in this cabinet. Unfortunately, last night I had to stop, but I had so much momentum with what I was doing. I was just so happy with my progress. But these are the art supplies that are out. Um, and then this is just some stuff that's like packing materials and stuff I, I need to get rid of. So it's only this little pile, not awful. So hopefully tonight I can just get those put away and they're not on the floor. So the last thing I'll share in this video um, is some trims and things from Gabby. I won a giveaway uh, during one of her sales. And thank you so much for everyone who has gone over um, and just hung out with her whatnot sales or purchased. I've heard from some people that they love what they've got from her. I mean, she is just wonderful. And it's fun to be over there and it's just like a live video on YouTube. You can chat, we chat back and forth. So this is the giveaway that I won. Um, she usually does two to three giveaways in a sale. So I got this sweet little lamb and some like pinky violet ribbon. This black and white. I mean, these things are such quality. This ribbon here, she was including some of this in everyone's package who purchased because a little bit of color bled onto that spot. I mean, just the shabbier, the better. And then some blue velvet. <laughs> and then this red, white, and blue. <laughs> I just love it. So I wanted to share that that came today. And... Um, I probably have two more packages coming from her in the future. So, of course, you'll see that when they come. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're having a nice start to spring, and I will see you in another video. Bye.